What's up guys? Finally got off work early today so I figured I'd show you guys my new rolling Mexican baseball glove that I ordered about two months ago in March. Um, finally made but I got it. Um, partially my fault because I was going back and forth with the seller. Super cool dude. Uh, I'll put his information in the description. He, you know, he was informative. He let me know what I could or couldn't do to the glove customization wise. So um, here it is, the final product. I'm happy with it, but you know, I'll give you guys my honest opinion in a second after I review it. But yeah, so as I said, it is a rolling Mexican baseball glove. If you guys aren't familiar, it is a brand obviously from Mexico. Um, show you guys the tag right there so you guys can read it. Hecho en Mexico, as you can see, made in Mexico. Quite on all that. If you guys want to pause it and read, bovine leather. So that's pretty cool. Um, never heard of it. Um, some kind of animal, I believe, but uh, who knows. And uh, yeah, it is the model number, I believe, on this one is the GV-333. And that one is a 12-inch. Um, doesn't say anywhere in the glove, like most gloves, but uh, yeah, it's a 12-inch. I measured it, so I measured it from here to here, and it was about 12. So um, yeah, H-Web, as you see, entirely made of camel. Um, they, I believe they call it bone, um, and, uh, yeah, here you go, you have a royal, uh, script right there, my name, Daniel Martinez, um, great, great, the royal is super, super vibrant, as you can see, um, I'm glad I changed it, I had had it originally black, but I'm glad I changed it, you got the matching royal rolling right there on the wrist, nice embroidery, um, good quality, and let's go to the back now probably the best part of the glove in my opinion and you have the xpt on the what is that ring finger and then my number 27 on the pinky also stitched in royal i kind of wanted it here but um, you know it's a pleasant surprise there because i kind of get to look at it when i look at my hand like that so that's pretty cool again rolling uh royal uh laces right there and uh, one of my favorite parts of this glove is the royal and gold patch on the middle finger. This is a nice touch. As I tell a lot of people that the patch reminds me of like clay uh, or Play-Doh. As you can see, it's a good quality right there. Looks even nicer in person. And of course, on the index finger, I have the Mexican flag just because, you know, I am of Mexican descent. Uh, H-Web, as I mentioned, there you go, 12 inch. Uh, the inside is cool. You got the palm also in camel with the um, the logo is they have it best of bull and it's like a bull right there. I have uh, caught with it a few times, just caught, um, haven't used it in the game, you know, just couch cats mostly and uh, so that's why it's a little dirty. But um, also I'm trying to do a little flair. Um, but uh, yeah, it's super stiff, great quality. Um, the craftsmanship is, you know, it's it's not great. Like I said, I'll be honest. Um, compared to pictures I've seen of rolling XPTs, oh, by the way, XPT is their, I guess, highest model. Um, if you want to compare it to uh, Pope Preferred, that's what it is right there. And uh, the, again, lastly, the lining you have right there made in Mexico by Rolling and Barasa right there. Barasa is also an affiliate of theirs, as you can see right there. Let me, you know, lower my fan because that thing is annoying. Anyways, so, um, yeah, where was I? The welting. You have matching welting right there. I'll show you guys nice details of the glove. You do have some minor wrinkles right there. And, you know, this, of course, right there. And through the back. But mostly because of the, cause of the uh, flare I'm trying to do. This wasn't here. And this wasn't here either. But that got there with the, with the, with the flare. Um, and the pocket right there. Nice. So yeah, as I was saying, the lining, super smooth in there. It's got a nice little design, as you can kind of tell. It's got like zigzags in there. And it does not feel at all like the outer or or the palm area. So this palm is super, super smooth. I, it reminds me a lot of deer skin. I'm not too sure because it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure. Um, again, this entire glove is made of bovine leather. And uh, I'm not too exactly sure what that is, per se. But, um, you know, with my experience, I'm going to compare it to, I want to say, it's up there with the Heart of the Hide, and I only know Rawlings, so I'll compare it to what I know. Uh, it's up there with the Heart of the Hide. It's definitely not a pro preferred, and I've seen a bunch of reviews of Rawlings, and a lot of them say, oh, you know, it, it blows pro preferred out of the water. Granted, maybe mine isn't that up to that standard, and uh, I'll, I'll speak more of that in a second. 
but um, yeah, it's definitely not a pro preferred standard glove. But um, it, I'll compare it like I, I've told many people. I compare it if it was like a hybrid of a heart of the hide and a pro preferred. You know, if, if they had a baby, <laughs> like I like to say. Um, but no, it's like a fusion of those gloves. Um, that's what you get here because it is stiff and uh, the quality of the leather is. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not a gamer per se. I'm not saying gamers are terrible, but. Um, you know, you get what you pay for, and this one he wanted, you know, upwards of $200. So with that, I expect, you know, pro prefer not pro preferred because those are $300, but I at least expect Heart of the Hide quality. And uh, I, I say it's up there with the Heart of the Hide. You hear the binding, you know. Um, I've seen pictures, and um, now I'm just picky, I'm not picking here, but, you know, it's wrinkly here. And uh, the, some of the pictures that I've seen, you know, it's it's pristine no wrinkles nothing like that on other gloves my girl actually just sent me a glove from her friend and it was actually actually a rolling xpt hweb all camel as well um different color laces but the quality on that one was way superior than this one and again it was an also xpt so this like this right here it was a lot more smooth and it just looked up to pro preferred standard so i was like you know what I made the decision and um, fortunately I'm not gonna keep this glove um, after seeing that picture I just you know to be honest I just I want that quality that I saw and this is not what I saw um, you know I'm usually not that kind of person that's picky but um, in this case this glove I was really excited about it because I fused you know pretty much all the gloves that I wanted and I fused it into this I, I got the inspiration by the uh, Evan Longoria Wilson glove, the EL3 that just came out. If you guys check that out, you guys can see it's all camo everywhere with the Royal Laces. And again, I also mixed in the uh, Ryan Zimmerman glove that he has the all camo with the H-Web uh, 12 inch. So that's what I got. Pretty much I fused those and I got what I wanted with the size. But again, um, I'm probably gonna return it because uh, the quality is just not up to my standards at least. Because I'm, you know, since I've recently uh, started messing with gloves, I've gotten pro preferred, and you know, once you get pro preferred, everything else is just, you know, less than that, obviously. So let me show you guys my pro preferred, and I'll show you guys. You guys could probably see my my point of view here. Um, I compared a lot to this one. The color was kind of like this one when I just got it. I have broke this one in. I've had it since December, so you know, it's been. Oh, half a year already so the color is gonna change but I mean you can see or I don't know if you're new but uh, this the quality is way superior on the pro preferred the welting alone look at that um, again you get the wrinkles here because I'm breaking in the the, the the flare so that is gonna wrinkle up a bit but I mean you can see right there the qualities um, there I just you know you, you got wrinkles here and you don't have wrinkles here just stuff like that but uh, this is a super smooth glove uh, in comparison to this one and uh, yeah so I hold all my standards two pro preferreds and um, I was promised a pro preferred and this is not it so like I said I am gonna return it um, get my money back or whatever and um, I don't know if I'm gonna order another one from another because there is quite a few um, rolling rolling shall I say rolling uh, sellers so uh, distributors so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do it again gamble um, I've heard a lot of things a lot of good things from game time gloves that's where most of the reviews are this is not a game time glove as you can see with the logo his is a, is a bull head this one's a bull body but um, I might go with him his his prices are a little bit more expensive than my guy um, and but you know what you're probably paying the difference with quality with him so um, so yeah, I know this video is kind of long, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, This one and again, maybe maybe this one isn't one of their best batches You know, maybe the guy that I got it from does have better stuff. Just mine just happened to be unlucky. But again uh, Let me know what you guys think comment subscribe